Hi dear students, hope that all of you are keeping fine and following the classes. Today we are going to see a new chapter, chapter 8, Coromond Fishes. This is a beautiful poem written by Sarojini Naidu. The message that you will get from this poem, it is clearly given in the introduction part itself. This poem awakens the soul from the dullness of our mind to make life worthy of existence. So that is the message the poem gives. It awakens us from our sleep of our mind. There is a true fact. Many times people, they are lazy in their mind. Here the poet says that you have to get up from that laziness and understand and make life worthy of existence. Then this is a clarion call is quite clear to wake up any heart from slumber. Slumber means sleep and clarion call means a call with a clear message. So this poem, it is a clarion call, a call with a clear message. And what is the message here? Wake up from your slumber or your sleep. And now we will see about the details of the poem. Coromandel fishes means the fishermen on the Coromandel coast of South India. Here in this poem, the poet describes the life of fishermen and the leader of the fishermen. He gives a message or a call to his fellow fishermen or his companions or his friends to start their work early in the morning. So the poem describes about the life of the fishermen and the leader of the fishermen gives a call to his fellow fishermen to start their work in the early morning. Now we will see about the details of the poem. Rise brothers rise, the wakening skies pray to the morning light. The wind lies asleep in the arms of the dawn like a child that has cried all night. The leader says to his fellow fishermen that rise brothers rise, get up from your sleep because the wakening skies pray to the morning light. The sky which was sleeping has waken up and welcoming the morning light. Even the morning sky it is already waken up and welcoming the morning light. So you have to get up fast. He is saying to his friends. Here we can notice that the wakening sky or the morning sky it is compared with a person who is getting up from sleep. So it is a clear example of personification. Wakening that is a human activity and that activity is attributed to what the early morning sky. So here we can notice the use of personification. The fisherman, the leader of the fisherman says that you have to get up from your sleep because the morning sky already has waken up from its sleep and now the morning sky is welcoming the morning light. Then he continues, the wind lies asleep in the arms of the dawn like a child that has cried all night. Here the wind lies asleep means the wind is not blowing or the wind is very calm in the arms of the dawn, in the arms of the early morning. In the early morning the wind is not blowing and not making any noise and it is very calm just like what? Just like a child that has cried all night. You know the speciality of a child. If you have small brothers or sisters at home, you can understand easily. They cry all the night and in the morning they peacefully sleep. The same way, the wind also do the same thing. The whole night it is blowing and making such a noises, but in the morning it is very calm. So here we can notice the use of simile. The wind is like the child. So the wind is compared with the child. So we can find out the use of simile here. And the poet says that the wind which is very calm and quiet in the morning, it is just like the child who sleeps in the early morning in a peaceful manner. So we can notice two symbolic usages here. The first one is the wakening skies and the second one it is that the wind lies asleep. The early morning sky it is getting up and welcoming the morning light. So that is the first symbolic expression. And the second one, the wind, the wind lies asleep. 
means the will is very common to it. These two symbolic expressions it explains that the morning is very close or very near. That is why the leader of the fisherman says that you have to get up from your sleep. The morning is very near. And then he commands or instructs his fellow fishermen to do something. What all are the things he commands or instructs? Come, let us gather our nets from the shore and set our catamarans free. Come, now we have to gather our nets. You know, the need of nets. In order to go for fishing, they have to get the nets, collect the nets, then only they can catch the fish. So the leader says that first we have to collect the nets from the shore. Why he says to says that we have to collect the nets from the shore because the net it is already laid there on the shore in order to dry up. So first thing they have to do is that they have to collect the nets from the shore then set our catamarans free. Catamarans means it is a board. First thing they have to do is that they have to collect the net then they have to free their boards. For what purpose they have to do all these things? To capture the leaping wealth of the tide. To capture the leaping wealth of the tide. What is the leaping wealth of the tide? It is the fish. So the, the leader says that we have to gather our nets and we have to set our boards free. For what purpose? In order to catch fish. Because for we are the kings of the sea. We are the king means we are the owners of the sea and it is our privilege and it is our duty to catch the fish and this fish it is ours and we have to collect all these things so you go and take the net and set the boats free and we have to collect or catch the fish because everything in the sea that belongs to us then no longer delay let us hasten away in the trap of the seagulls call he says again to his uh, fellow fishermen that do everything in fast, hasten up, no longer delay. You, have, you are not supposed to delay, but you have to be very fast. Let us hasten away in the track of the seagull's call. We have to follow the path of the seagull. Seagull means it is a bird and the leader says that you have to hurry up and you do everything fast because we have to follow the seagull's way. Why? Because seagull knows the exact location of fish and if they follow the seagull's way then it is very easy for fishermen to locate the fish and catch the fish. Seagull is a bird which knows the exact location of fish so it is a better way to follow seagull and find out the location of fish. That is why the leader of the fishermen says that you have to do everything fast and then follow the seagull. The sea is our mother, the cloud is our brother, the waves are our comrades all. So here we can notice the use of metaphor. The leader calls sea as their mother. And why he calls sea as their mother? Because just like a mother, the sea feeds the fishermen. It gives the livelihood to the fishermen. That is why the poet says that sea is our mother. And that is a use of metaphor. Then the cloud is our brother. Why he says the cloud is their brother? Because the cloud, just like a brother, the cloud gives the direction and it guides and it gives the direction of the wind. There also the use of metaphor we can notice. And the third one, the waves are our comrades. Comrades means the companions, the friends, the Waves are our friends. Why? Because they always accompany us, keep moving with. They always come with us. The waves are always coming with the, or going with the fishermen. That is the reason. He says the waves are our brothers because they always come with us whenever we go to sea. From the first part we can understand that the leader of the fisherman, he calls his fellow fishermen and says to them that rise up from the sleep because the morning is very near. And he says or instructs his fellow fishermen to go to the seashore and collect the nets and set the boats free. For what purpose? In order to cast the leaping wealth of the sea, that is the 
fish because they are the kings they are the owners of the entire sea so they have to catch the leaping wealth of the sea leaping wealth of the sea then again he says you have to do everything in hurry you have to do fast because there is no time you have to follow the path of the seagull the way of the seagull because the seagull knows the exact the seagull knows the exact location of fish so if they follow seagull's path it is easy for them to catch fish and he calls the sea as the mother of fishermen and the clouds as the brother of fishermen and waves as the friend of fishermen hope that it is clear to you if there is any doubts you can ask me thank you have a nice day